Boys and girls, this week we've got a really fun story that I want to share with you. Um, this book that we're going to read this week is called The Easter Bunny's Assistant. And since this was about the Easter Bunny, I thought it would come down to my living room where I've got my Easter stuff up because nobody can come over and celebrate with me. So at least you guys can look at it with me, right? So I'm going to read you my story from down here today. But our story is called The Easter Bunny's Assistant. And this book is written by Jan Thomas, and it's also illustrated by Jan Thomas, so she did both. She's the author, and what does an author do? An author writes the words, and she's the illustrator. What does the illustrator do? We know the illustrator draws the pictures. That's right. So, Jan Thomas was both. She did both in this story. You're gonna really laugh. This is a funny story. But today we're gonna to do what good readers do. We're gonna stop part of the way through and we're gonna make a prediction about what happens. So let's see what happens in The Easter Bunny's Assistant. Here we go. Hello, I am the Easter Bunny and this is my assistant, Skunk. Today we will show you how to make beautiful Easter eggs. Oh, that sounds fun. I like to make Easter eggs, don't you? Step one, hard boil the eggs. I'm so excited. Oh, look, the bunny's getting it all ready to put the eggs in the pot and get ready to boil them. Skunk's really excited, isn't he? Uh, skunk, what's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. That happens when I get excited. Oh no, that skunk made a smell, didn't he? Police, try to control yourself. Step two, make dye for the eggs. Oh, look at the beautiful color. It's so Exciting! Skunk! <gasps> Sorry. Skunk stung the place up again, didn't he? Step three. Decorate the eggs with crayons. Oh, I love decorating eggs. It's so... Look at rabbit. So. Pleasant. Did skunk make a big smell? And exciting! Oh, look, it was a bad one this time. Look at rabbit's face. Step four, remove skunk from the room. Push if necessary. Hey! Oh, look, he's sending the skunk out the door, isn't he? Step five, dye the eggs. Uh-oh, there's a knock on the window. Now you have beautiful Easter eggs. There's another knock at the window. Skunk wants back in, doesn't he? Should I let him help me hide the eggs? What do you think? Should the Easter Bunny let Skunk help him hide the eggs? This is where we're going to make a prediction. What do you think will happen? I want you to think about if you think he should let him or if he should not. And I want you to write for me in your journal about that. So you're going to say something like, I think... The Easter Bunny should let Skunk help, or I do not think the Easter Bunny should let the Skunk help, and then tell why in your next sentence. Why should he let him help? Because it's the nice thing to do? Because the Skunk is sad outside? Or should he, let him help him? Should he not let him help because he'll get too excited and stink up the place again? What do you think? Tell me what you think. Well, he should let him or he should not let him help. Pause this video, go do that writing and drawing, and then when you come back, we'll read the rest of the story and we'll find out what actually happens. Oh, 
I'll look at my Easter Bunny. You sure? Oh, I wonder if he's gonna let him in. Ah, oh, look what the Easter Bunny did. He put a clothespin on his nose so he wouldn't have to smell the skunk anymore. How funny. And the back of this book actually has some directions for how you de um, decorate eggs like they did. They boiled their eggs was step one. Then step two, they made some dye to do their eggs in. They decorated their eggs with crayons uh, before they put them in the dye because then step four, they, they put them in the dye. And you know, we've talked about before how on paper where you put crayon, paint doesn't stick. So if you decorate your eggs with crayons, then when you put them in the dye and they come out, you'll have those spaces that are white or whatever color crayon you used where the other color dye won't stick and it makes them really pretty. Look at one of his directions. One of his directions is look to see if there's a skunk in the room. He said, if there is, remove it. I hope you don't have a skunk in the room when you decorate Easter eggs this year. And now you have exciting Easter eggs. I want you to go back and tell if you were surprised if that skunk got to come back in and he got to help with the Easter Bunny. And I want you to tell what they did to solve the problem. We saw the Easter Bunny put a clip on his nose so that he wouldn't sp smell the skunk anymore. So I want you to go back and finish this page in your journal and tell us about what really happened and if you were surprised or not.